So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today I'm talking about knives. Ha <laughs> so you can press like already. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be nice to have something like a combination between this knife here, yeah, and this knife. You know, something like a well a folding Box cutter. <laughs> Let us compare those knives here to this new one here. And of course, I'm using a knife to opening a knife because they insist on putting those little clamps in so nobody steals the knife out of the packaging or has a chance to touch it. Why ever. So, the tedious part is over. All the clamps are removed and I have to be careful not to leave them here. Otherwise I step into them and trust me, pulling one of them out of your feet is not a fun thing. So, uh, by the way, it, it did cost... Oh. <laughs> it did cost five bucks. It's probably 10 by now with the inflation. Uh, oh yeah. Already four minutes into the video and I'm still fiddling with packaging. <laughs> so I hope this was the last one. <coughs> Ooh, slidey slidey open. And here it is in red, unlike this one in green. And I have just chosen this for the video. We got some spare blades here, which is good. It's always good. It feels not like it is completely full. Yeah, halfway. Well, at least it didn't cheat too much. I did just put one in. <laughs> But yeah, they come in this little nifty container, you push it out, I don't know why the window is here, but yeah. 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 So, now let me put them next to each other. And so, let's go. I have cleaned it now, just wiped off the bit of oil from the packaging. And yeah. Already what I have noticed is, unless my other knife here, it's got a belt clip and that's something nice. The only bad thing is uh, they have a bit, yeah, it's not reversible. So if you're left handed, not so good for you. One handed action, yeah. Works nice and yeah, opened. This one here is a bit longer. They are feeling pretty similar, the same kind of metal, but unlike this one where the screws look out just a tiny bit to be annoying, um, this here is completely smooth. It also, yeah, it fits in my hand quite okay, not bad. Sliding a bit forwards is not a problem here because, well, <laughs> it's not sharp like this one here. Yeah. The coating on both of them feels okay. This one here actually feels a bit more slippery. This one here feels quite solid. Probably because this one is a bit worn down already. But yeah, it does have zero play here. This one has a tiny little bit, but it's adjustable, of course. Like this one, if it does start to wiggle, yeah, 
And so now let me give you a bit of a close up here. Hex screws here, yeah, not so good serviceable, but belt clip with normal screws. The other side, another hex screw here. It's all hex screws. Probably just because they look better. A little laser engraving here. Laser engraving here. Which is upside down for I don't know what reason. I mean, that's not the upside of a knife. It looks like a banana, but yeah. Another thing, you got a rather sharp spine here, which comes in a uh, little bit uncomfortable when directly whittling small things, but you could strike a ferret rod, actually down here, it's even sharper. There's the perfect ferrite rod action here, yeah. It doesn't close one-handed, but that's not a problem. It opens one-handed, if you get used to it. It works quite nice. It locks. It is really not going anywhere even if it is shaken, so it won't open on you. That is good. Well, yeah, it doesn't completely fit in your hand. If we compare it, this one here fits in here very nice. This one here doesn't. The side by side shows how much is actually sticking out? Bed clip, metal bed clip, feels good. This thing may need to be a bit bent upwards to one handed slip it easy on, but otherwise, not bad. Easy late release, but it holds good. Legal in most urban countries, as the blade itself is just a tiny bit of length compared to this one here. But in a self-defense operation, still slash it and it works. Patanning, yeah, I'm not sure about that, but yeah. On the other hand, the blade is rather small. If you really snap the blade on one side, you could always turn it around and get another one. Also, if it's stored down, that's an advantage. And I know there are actually little sawtooth plates available for those knives, but I doubt that they are really that good compared to the standard box cutter. What sticks out is it really lays down good in your hand. And got a fast belt switch. This one needs to be unscrewed to change the blade. Opened, they are have about the same size. Yeah. Closed. Yeah. This one, of course, is longer. Well, yeah. this got a lanyard hole. This doesn't have one. Nah, there they skimmed. 
but you could of course uh, make one it looks like it is yeah the blade just goes up to here so you could drill a hole in here and make your own lanyard hole that could work that would work cutting angle is a bit different it's got a bit of a more straight one this is a bit curved but if you're cutting a box or something this is okay this one you can of course adjust the blade and it locks so you don't cut into something we got three adjustable levels fully like somewhere here's half yeah and then just a tiny bit so in a way this is also locking this one is not adjustable you can't push it in deeper it won't go in deeper but yeah I like it really not bad and so Let's try it with a bit of wood. Yeah. Not bad. This technique gives you a bit of a disadvantage here because you have to put your thumb and it's a bit of a sharp edge here, but not a problem. Normally you carve like this and it feels fine. For a mobile carrying purposes EDC style, this is great. This isn't so much EDC thing, this is something you draw in your toolbox. Bushcraft, this one, yeah, of course, it's got a real blade, patterning it will work. But this one, not so much, I guess. It's just a tiny, thin blade that could snap very easily. But yeah, enough said. I like it. It's only five bucks. Three years warranty. So, if you want one, if you want to try it out for yourself, I guess the best way is to buy one. And if you want to wait, well, wait for a year, I will post a one year update. Unless I forget about it. So join the club, subscribe, it's free. And remind me in a year to post the update. <laughs> yeah. Just to say it again, I really like this little knife. I'm surprised I like it. When I bought it, I didn't have high expectations, uh, especially in terms of build quality, but it seems they have really, well, they spent the money they saved on the blade on the rest of the knife. So, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. And if you have the time left, well, why not tell me in the comments what's your EDC knife? Is it a knife? Is it a box cutter? Or is it a box cutter knife? <laughs> yeah, see you in the next video on the Adventures Club.